What's up guys and welcome back to my reading journey. Hope we're all doing absolutely fantastic. And today as usual, we're gonna continue with the Daily Stoic. It is the current book that I'm reading to you on a daily basis. So we're gonna have two more meditations as usual. And the first one is finding, finding the right mentors. Let's get started. We like to say that we don't get to choose our parents, that they were given by chance. Yet we can truly choose whose children we'd like to be. Seneca on the brevity of life. We are, we are fortunate enough that some of the greatest men and women in history have recorded their wisdom and folly. In books and journals, many others have had their lives chronicled by a careful biographer from Plutarch, Plutarch to Boswell to Robert Carra. The literature available at your average library amounts of many millions of pages and thousands of years of knowledge, insight and experience. Maybe your parents were, were poor role models or you lacked a great mentor. Yet if we choose to, we can easily access the wisdom of those who came before us, those whom we aspire to be, to be like. We not only owe it, we not only owe it to ourselves to seek out this hand, hard won knowledge. We owe it. We owe it to the people who took the time to record their experiences, to try to carry on the traditions and follow their examples to be the promising children of these noble parents. Brick by Boring Brick You must build up your life action by action and be content and be content if it, each one achieves its goal as far as possible. And no one can keep you from this, but there will be some external obstacle, perhaps, but no obstacle to acting with justice, self-control and wisdom. But what if some other area of my action is thwarted? thwarted? Well, gladly accept the obstacle for what it is and shift your attention to what is given and another action will immediately take its place. One that better fits the life you're building. Marcus Rivas Meditations. A lot of athletes in colli collegiate, collegiate and professional sports increasingly flow, follow a philosophy known as the pro process. It is a philosophy created by University of Alabama coach Nick Saban who taught his players to ignore the big picture, important games, winning championships, the opponent's enormous lead, and focus instead on doing the absolutely smallest things well, practicing with full effort, finishing a specific play, converting on a single possession. A season last month, a, la a game last hours, catching up might be f four touchdown touchdowns away, but a single play is only a few seconds, and games and seasons are constituted by seconds. If teams follow the process, they tend to win. They overcome obstacles and eventually make their way to the top without ever, without ever having focused on the obstacles directly. If you follow the process, the process in your life, Assembling the right actions in the right right order, one after another, you too will do well. Not only that, but not only that, you will be better equipped to make quick work of the obstacles along that path. You will be too busy putting one foot in front of the next to even notice the obstacles were there. So. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me today on this video. And we're going to continue with the next one, but tomorrow. Thank you. See you and bye.